Hi, it's Candace here coming to you from the Passionate Home in downtown Langley. And uh, welcome to Candace's Corner. Today we are talking all about wax. To start with, Annie Sloan actually has, well, she has four different colors. So she has a black wax, a brown wax, a white wax, and the clear wax. So this one looks like it's a little bit white when you open it, but if you actually saw them side by side, you can see this is more opaque and that's a clear wax. All right, she also comes, it comes in three sizes. So the mother load is for people like us that <laughs> paint a lot. And, um, but generally this is not what everybody needs in their home. This size here is the perfect size. It does approximately five cans of paint. And I definitely would say if you're um, starting out, you want your clear in this size. And if you're just starting, you might choose to start your colored waxes in the smaller size. So again, there's three sizes. Alrighty, so let's get started. The first thing you need to know is it's kind of like margarine. So it's that weird Crisco margarine consistency. And um, look at that, see? It's nice and soft. If it's hard, if you're in a really cold space um, and you need to warm it slightly, never, never, never put this near a heat source, a stove, anything like that. It's flammable. Just saying. So if you need it to warm it up slightly, put it, um, maybe boil a kettle and put a plate on top of a bowl of hot water and set your can on top just to soften it slightly. But um, so we're good to go. So I'm going to load up my brush. Okay, brushes, cloths, that's another good question. So, um, you can use a lint-free cloth to apply and to remove. Um, you can also use brushes and we carry a large fry. So I'm loading up my brush. I'm not overloading it um, because I don't want to have too much wax. Um, I've waxed one here that I painted fairly smoothly, just so you can see the difference. And this one's already been clear waxed. This one here has a lot of texture on it and I think it's really fun for you to see how the wax utilizes all those brush strokes. So pretty. All right, so here we go. So I'm just gonna get it on here. I'm going in every which direction. Can you see? I don't know if you can see on the camera. Can you see the color difference? This is how you're gonna know. This has been waxed. The wax is going in, it's sealing, or it's, it's um, penetrating the paint. And um, and then I'm going to take my cloth. So again, a lint-free rag. Uh, these are super inexpensive. You can wash them if you, you know, you can use them a couple times. And then I'm going to wipe away the excess. All right. I'm not buffing it. I'm just wiping away the excess. I'm flipping my cloth over. And then, so people ask, how do you know too much? Not enough. It's kind of a little bit like if you put hand lotion on and you put it on and you want enough to rub it in so it absorbs into your skin, but you don't want slippery hands. So the same with this, is you want enough to absorb into the paint, you're gonna see that color change, and then wipe away the excess so you don't have a slippery or tackiness. Alrighty? So I'm gonna finish this one up quickly, and then we're gonna move on to the fun stuff, the colors. And a lot of people are, um, a little bit afraid of the colors because they are like super dark when you look at them in the in the uh, container. Again, lots of texture on here. I'm going every which direction and wiping away the excess. All right. So you can see that that color has changed. You do need to be sure that you put your clear wax on first because the clear wax is what's going to um, seal the paint. If I was to go straight onto my wood with a dark wax or a black wax, it's going to stain my paint and I won't be able to remove that. So I'm going to show you a little trick here in a bit about how you can, if you put too much, you can remove and because we've clear waxed first. So always clear wax first. Um, the other thing I would suggest is always take a little, um, a putty knife or something and scoop out of your wax because sometimes, especially with the darker colors, when you start to um, wax, you get a little bit of residue from the paint on here and you don't want to contaminate your clear or whatever color because if you're painting something white and you've gone from a black 
and there's bits of black in there, you're really not gonna be happy. So just scoop a wee bit out. And I'm just gonna put on here. We don't need a lot. A different brush. I use a different brush for each one. Um, you could probably get away with it with your clear and white, but once you're using the darks, you're never going to get your brush super clean and I would hate for that transfer to happen. So I'm just going to dip in here. So I've already sealed my paint with the clear and um, so now I'm loading up my brush. I'm not doing it super, super heavy and I'm just going to show you. So we're just going to go right in here and I'm going in every direction because I've got all this beautiful texture on here. I should have left a spot for the clear, so we'll do that next. Alrighty, so there we go. Worked it in, and again, wax on, wax off. So look at how it has gone into these little grooves and highlights all those beautiful, beautiful bits in there. So there's our dark. And we're gonna come in with a little bit of black. So again, I'm keeping my brush also on this paper plate because I don't want dust or things other that are on my craft table to get into my wax either. All right, so we're gonna grab some black wax now and again, just scooping a little bit out. Sorry. And we're gonna dip in. All right, so I'm not overloading. I'm working it in a little bit. I'm gonna leave a space for our clear there. So when Annie started, we had a clear and we had a dark, and now she's created the black and the white. So we've got all four. So we're just gonna go in here. I find that the black wax creates this beautiful, almost um, industrial, uh, a little bit more modern effect, whereas the dark wax is a little bit more vintage, um, aged patina. They're all beautiful. Alrighty, so again, we've put the wax on and our job now is to remove that excess. Alrighty. And you can see if I want it to go even stronger, just come back in there. Alrighty. Look at all that beautiful stuff that is highlighting. So beautiful. Alrighty. So we've got our clear on, we've got our dark on. If I hadn't done the, the clear wax um, at the same, like I'm working simultaneous, I don't want you to go home and, and clear wax your whole piece and then come in and start doing your dark or your black. I want you to work side by side because while that clear wax is still um, fresh, it just creates a little bit more fluid for the dark or the black coming on top. I just wanna show you quickly too. So let's pretend that I put way too much on here. Let's just really, really work it in. Wipe it away a little bit. And if I said, oh my goodness, I hate it. It's way too much, it's too strong. I can take, always fresh and clear if you're gonna be removing and going into your clear. I'm gonna take a little bit of my clear wax. And I'm just gonna go right over top of this. See how it just works as an eraser? Can you see that on the top? Mm -hmm. So I've just removed most of my, my dark wax. So also if you have lots of big grooves, you can gently go over the top and it'll remove the dark from the top, but it still gives you this beautiful layer underneath in all the grooves. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to um, our white wax. So again, here's our white wax. And let's get a fresh paper here that we don't get any of the colors into that. There we go. A little goes a long way when you're doing the accent colors. Now, with the white wax, you don't actually have to clear wax first. I just did the whole board because for the sake of today, it's a little bit easier. You can, um, but you can go directly over your paint with the white wax and that's going to do the job as well. Okay, so again, just loading in. Flip this board here. I find that the white gives a beautiful beachy effect. It also can just soften a little bit Frenchy. So here it is. This one glides on. I think it's actually the one that glides on the easiest of the white wax. At least that's what I found. So I'm just going to find a clean rag. There we go. And again, wax on and wax off. 
in here. Sometimes I will leave a little bit more. It's totally up to you and the look that you're going for. If I hadn't already clear waxed this, you would see just a wee bit more of the white on there, but so pretty. So we have the white, we have the black, we have the clear, and we have the dark. So those are the four waxes and how to use them on just in the basics. Um, I wanted to show you the difference with the texture and without. So I'm just gonna quickly go over this. Oops. So you can see that when you don't have a lot of texture, these colors just kind of, or the, the waxes just, you know, it softens, but it doesn't give too much of an aging effect. But not, right? It's not a super. How do I create texture if my dresser is smooth? Oh, uh, well, you know me, I love to paint with texture. So um, if your surface is smooth to start with and you want to create texture, so a couple ways you can do that when you're painting, you can load up your brush with a fair amount of paint and give it lots of, let little bits of it stay. And sometimes I'll even jab the paint on and, um, and then let it dry. Give it time that's right it's going to take longer than your 20 minutes to dry because your paint is thicker but once it's dry you're good to go um i think what other questions people would have about the wax so when do we know to use wax versus lacquer so some people um are the big question is um lacquer or wax and is wax durable enough to use for everyday use. So yes, wax is durable. It can um, it can withstand what you need it to withstand for the most part. Um, it does take approximately three weeks to cure, and once it's cured, it's nice and solid. Um, you would still not clean it with a harsh chemical or anything like that, um, but it's good to go. You would not use wax on something going outside because you don't want the sun to hit the wax and reactivate that. So um, outside, you would use lacquer. Uh, for the most part, you're gonna use wax inside. Um, you would use a lacquer on a floor. You wouldn't wax a floor or maybe a fireplace, something like that. But for most of the projects that you're gonna end up doing in your home, the wax is a really easy and um, lovely way to go. It's made with beeswax and carnauba. And, um, and actually the really cool thing is once this is cured, it's also food safe. So it's baby safe, toy safe. You can do a crib, you could do a, your kitchen table, you can, you know, so many things. So very versatile, easy to use. If you are nervous about it with the colors, you can always just take a putty knife and mix a little bit of the dark um, with the clear and it just softens it down a little bit. Um, something else that if I'm doing a really long piece and I don't want to have the stop and start and um, you're not necessarily going to have that anyway but you can add just a pinch of odorless mineral spirits just a little drizzle in there I'll just show you on one of these here just can you see that one so I don't have very much in here to start with but I'm just doing a couple drops and I just want you to see how it's just going to soften that down. I don't know if you can see that. Not yet. Didn't have quite enough. And a paper plate, you know, soaks into that a little bit. Whoops. More than I needed. But, so I'm just creating this little bit more of a glaze effect. It's super soft now. And if I go to put this on here, it's going on really, really soft and beautiful. Every which way. And then again, removing the excess. Oh, All right. perfect. So there you go. So it just makes it a little bit more fluid. And I do find that if I'm doing a large top of a table or something like that, I do like to just knock it back a wee bit and create that, that glaze with the mineral spirits. So I hope that I've answered the questions that you might've had in your head there and um, that you won't be afraid to try all the different waxes because they're so much fun. It can add just in the detail, you can add some layers um, and some that old antiquing. You can do the whole piece 
um, have some fun with it. Don't be afraid. Worst case scenario, if you have put too much, a little clear wax to remove some, or if you actually hate it at the end, just, you know what, paint over it, try a different one. All right, don't be afraid of it. Have some fun and um, hope to see you down here at the Passionate Home on these days.